what would you tell a student or a young engineer that is not currently volunteering with any organization on the benefits of, or getting, of getting involved with either Bridges to Prosperity or basically any organization around and how that it can improve their career as well as make an impact in these communities? Yeah, well, um, you know, I think fortunately, I mean, and I'll touch on that, but I think, I think fortunately, uh, the next generation is actually seeing that as a, uh, an inherent part of their work. Um, so if you look at, you know, some of the research around it right now, uh, you know, I think it's, it's close to 90% of millennials um, take CSR programs into account um, when they are looking for work that they're going to get involved in. And, and it's a little over 60% say that they won't accept a job with an organization that doesn't uh, have, um, you know, good philanthropic programs that they can engage in. And so, you know, answering your question, um, why, and maybe if someone's not quite there yet, someone's an engineering student, someone's a, a, a early on in their career and saying, hey, I, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if, you know, that's, an, that's maybe extra, you know, extracurricular. I don't know if I want to get involved in that. I think, uh, you know, pointing to um, the success and the fulfillment that uh, comes out of teams that do get involved in it will really show why long term it, it's going to be good for them as an as a professional, um, you know, personally, but also good for their career. Um, you know, when you're looking at working for 10, 20, 30 years, um, getting involved in something that really feels personal, really feels like you are helping to give back, gives you that fulfillment, gives you that energy. It's not going to be 95% of your day job isn't going to be supporting a nonprofit. Um, and it doesn't have to be, um, you know, it might be 1%, it might be 2%, it might be once a year. Um, and that's where you get to tie back in, hey, you know, that bridge project I worked on, uh, you know, down on I-70 uh, was was pretty cool. Um, but let me tell you about that, uh, you know, that uh, charity bridge project I worked on in Bolivia. You know, I, I think um, as you've experienced, you know, those are probably the stories you hear more and more. Um, we've also found, you know, personally speaking from our organization, that our partners really value the people that raise their hands to do this work. Um, they really see um, the young project managers that say, hey, yeah, this sounds really cool. I want to go to Rwanda. I want to learn about their culture. Uh, I want to learn about how they build things and use that as a way to you know, open my eyes about how construction can be different um, around the globe and take that back to their company. Um, you know, Avery and I are privileged enough to have relationships with some of the, you know, executives at, at these top companies. And they tell us directly that, hey, you know, this is a leadership program. Um, you know, we've seen some of our top employees come through, uh, you know, your program, through uh, the, the partnership program. And I'm sure that's similar for, for other organizations out there as well.